Hello. Hey. I'm Hi. Dave. I'm Joe. This is Joe. We're in a band called Glass Animals, and we're going to take you through the records of our life for Records in My Life, northertransmissions.com. <laughs> Parents played it or your siblings, something like that. A record that I grew up being played a lot um, was Dark Side of the Moon. My dad, my dad was a big uh, Pink Floyd fan. Um, and I think one of his claims to fame actually is that he was at the first ever performance of Dark Side of the Moon. Wow. Whoa. Um, somewhere huge. in London. Yeah. So he was, he was big on all of that. Um, but yeah, it was always on in the background <laughs> and stuff. But I think it's um it's an amazing record. It's a journey. And I think when we were making our first record, yeah. it was definitely a sort of template um in our minds as as a as a record that worked better as a whole. I think if you start at the beginning and listen all the way through to the end, the experience that you get is um is enhanced and I think it was a really amazing piece of work actually I mean it's like going it's like being sort of sucked out of your normal life and kind of spat into some weird universe and then you come crunching back down to earth but um yeah that was um that was definitely a dad inspired childhood memory of mine it makes me feel like I'm about four when I listen to it now <laughs> that's cool yeah sometimes sometimes I go back to it but it's just you know if I hear it in passing it kind of it, um it's very evocative for me what about you David what was my record growing up my dad used to play me the White Album by the Beatles that was my bedtime album pair of classics pair of total classics well done dad the, I mean I, that's still my favourite record I think yeah he used to ask me which song I wanted to hear before I went to bed and I'd always choose Piggies I think of that great album <laughs> That's a record now. Is there a record you learned how to play like music to, which you emulated, which are fun? what are your what are your respective instruments? I'm a drummer. I am the drum. I am the drummer in Glass Animals. So did you have an album that you just played? I actually did. Weirdly, I I've never really learned how to play the drums properly. I have no idea what I'm doing all of the time <laughs> and the way that I let Dave I mean I had a drum kit at home sitting under the roof yeah. and Dave was like oh, do you want to be in a band so I said yes without really sort of thinking about what I was doing um, but then I realised I needed to learn how to play the drums so I just sat with my iPod um, and plugged my ears in and actually listened to Silent Alarm uh, yeah, which I think do you know it's Silent Alarm by Block Party, Block Party the first Block Party record which I think is an amazing record a really, really amazing record. But the drums are just so loud in that record. The guy who um, runs our record label, Paul, m um, produced that record, and someone asked him once whether the, dr the drummer's dad mixed the record. Yeah. <laughs> it's so loud. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just it's so much loud. drums. Um, yeah, so I tried to figure out how to do that. It was way too fast for me to begin with. But um, yeah, I mean, just big beats in that record. That's, what I, that's how I tried to learn. Yeah. That's a good one. You got anything? It's hard. It's a hard place to start. It was a hard place to start, but I was just like, <laughs> it's so fun. It's fast. It's fast and frenetic. Yeah. yeah. I started much easier. I don't know. Everyone's got one of those records. Every guitarist probably has a record that has kind of easy-ish guitar lines on it, but they sound really badass. I think mine was Is This It by The Strokes. Oh, shit. Yeah. That was another one that, that I did, because that's did. the most simple. That was the most simple. Simple drum beats in the world, apart from that's Meg, what's Meg White. It. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's oh. just completely square. I think she's brilliant. The time. Yeah. I like. Uh, but yeah, it's the same with like Nirvana. Nirvana records are just like really awesome riffs, but so easy to play. And I think that Strokes record had that for me. Um, so I, I learned all of that and all the little guitar solos. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do a 
desert island disc. It's like Ooh. you're not allowed. You this is the the record you take with you. There's yeah, only yeah. Room for one on the boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a small boat. <laughs> a little, tiny, tiny little boat. <laughs> um, uh, I I think I probably take in rainbows with me. I just I just have not got bored of that record. Normally with like I yeah. kind of I just I'm like okay I've done this now I need a break but I I could just keep listening to it. It's some of it's just so beautiful, and there's so much thought went into that record. Like it's it's staggering. Like when once yeah. you start like I was reading a bit about it and they just they thought more than I thought anybody should or could ever think about a record you know they've got the golden ratio in there they've got like nude that that song nude is like hot the first half what's the what's the it's palindromic what the riff at the end the, the whole the, the music is palindromic it start the the first half of the song is the last half of the song backwards if you listen to it the drum beats the same throughout the whole thing so it can be played either way it's like it's mad it's beautiful and mad and it's like some of it's quite angsty and fast and some of it's really slow and beautiful and there's kind of everything in between. It makes me feel things. And I think th- for me, music, as long as it makes me feel something, then I've got time for it. And that record just makes me feel stuff. All of the things. I was thinking... Or like just, it's a record of total hits. You can't not like this record. Thriller uh, by Michael Jackson. I mean, it's just it's just hits. And kid, you know, if you're doing a school of rock kind of thing, you can learn the dance moves. <laughs> you can you can watch all the videos. You can uh, you can dress up. He's got everything. He's a pop star proper. He's the king of he pop. Is, yeah, he is the pop star, king of pop. Um, I that think that'd be really record. fun to do a school of rock with. Yeah, I'm going to go with Dave. Scrap my answer. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's uh, a wrap. I think we covered the uh, cool. basis. Thank you so much for.